Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you might be. Um, this is Wix online meeting number six on 1010. I still can't believe it's October already of 2013, but it is. So um, without further ado, let's get this road on the show. Oh, yes, by the way, we are recording these for those people that can't attend in person since I sent out the meeting request so close to the uh, time it was actually going to be sent. I'm sure there are a number of people missing. I'm sorry about that. But uh, we're going to keep going. So the agenda. Um, Bob has a bit of information about Wix 3.8 and the way he thinks we can get it done faster, which, of course, would be great given the impending doom that is Visual Studio 2013 chip date in eight days for those of you with MSDN subscriptions, if I remember correctly. After that, we'll do questions, comments, although with a small group of people, we'll see if there are any of those, not that there have been many. And then we'll go do the all-important triage, and maybe we'll go over a little bit to try to get the full hour. So, handing the floor over to Bob. Yeah, so so I was thinking uh, over the past couple of weeks since I kind of laid out the plans for, for Wix 3.8 as I saw them, um, we have we have an interesting state we're in where we kind of uh, let Visual Studio 2013 just kind of be in the background and and not be a um, an ongoing priority. Uh, normally we're we're more responsive than that um, and and try to hit really close to Visual Studio dates. Um, uh, that changed uh, for whatever reason and. The original plan that I, I came up with was to, you know, kind of do a normal thing where we try to do all the right things and we try to allow lots of buffer time for, for changes to, to settle down and things like that. Um, but I've had a lot of comments that the plan to do the this votive refactoring uh, to pick up some bug fixes from the uh, managed package framework project out on CodeFlex um, which appears to be mostly uh, a dump from the Visual Studio uh, core team, um, is probably not necessary. Um, a couple of people have said that they've been able to register votive for, for Visual Studio 2013. I have done that as well. Um, and thinking about it, I'm like, well, you know, it wouldn't be awful if we were to change the plans to, say, uh, go out with the current votive inside Visual Studio 2013 um, and kind of get that release out quickly to better hit a date, the Visual Studio date, which, as Rob mentioned, is, is eight days away. Uh, we're not going to hit that, but uh, we could come closer than the current plan. Um, and doing so increases the, the confidence I have in the original dates. Um, in fact, I think we can pull in uh, Wix 3.8 by, instead of shipping a, a beta with the refactoring needing this bake time that we normally provide, um, the original date was Halloween, because we like the whole theme release dates. Uh, I think we can release an RC at that time uh, with Votive at its current level of, of quality and functionality um, inside Visual Studio, going all the way back to 2008, 2010, 2012, and 2013. And because there's uh, a lot, well, almost no code changes uh, inside Votive, we can feel more comfortable shipping a final release in the following month. Uh, then, as soon as, we, uh, as soon as we ship the RC, I think, we can start working on Wix 3.9, which is where we do the proper voter refactoring. Uh, we deprecated 2008 support, uh, so that refactoring won't touch any of the um, that old older votive code. And we can then take a look at what other features we want to take on uh, and bugs that we want to take on for, for V3.9. Um, and truthfully, we can we can still ship that release uh, pretty quickly, but there's not the, the uh, pressure to try to hit dates that happen around the holidays, which are always, always a problem. Um, 
way too many companies basically shut down in December. Uh, so I started to, to worry that we weren't going to get a lot of testing and people using uh, the vote of code to exercise those changes. So if we don't make those changes, I think we can ship uh, Wix v3.8 uh, a lot faster and with a lot more confidence. Uh, that said, that's a plan. Uh, I am looking for feedback. I will write up what what uh, we've talked about here today and and post it on my blog uh, for other comments. But so far, the feedback I've gotten is, yeah, that makes sense. So unless I, I get feedback that says, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. Votive in 2012 has too many problems. We need to fix it. Um, give it a few days, but uh, probably I'm going to announce this as the new plan. Uh, and in fact, I already have the, the um, setup authoring changes ready to go to put Vote of 2010 inside uh, Visual Studio 2013. So we might see something, you know, in less than a week uh, at alpha beta quality ready to uh, to start using. So that all sounds good. One thing, two things. One, I'm waiting for the RTM version of 2013 before I do the libs, because I'm just trying to avoid putting an RC on my machine before I have to put an RTM on my machine. Understandable. Um, plus the build machine. And so my my hope was to wait for another week or so to do that, which means it m might be nice if we just kind of start 3.9 next month rather than this month, um, just given all the logistics that are going to hit at the same time. Oh yeah, sorry. The I, I didn't anticipate actually branching v3.9 until after the RC shipped. Okay. All right, because it says starts this month, which would be October. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. Ish. So, um, I'm I'm good with that. Otherwise, um, and yeah, I still hope I can get that lib stuff done. Given all the work I do with the parallel stuff, I've been in there enough lately that I don't think it'll be too hard. Okay, yeah. At least I've I mean, reloaded if, a lot of that context. If, if not, it's, you know, I, I'm not anticipating that it's a huge amount of work. It's just, you know, gnarly bits of work, I think. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I did gnarly things to the build just recently to get parallel build working, and I'm happy about that, so I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, Jacob, I see, keeps typing something. I'm waiting for something to actually show up, and I oh, he wrote a book. That's what happened. Um, are there any bugs or known issues using as is uh, critical regressions? There, there we, are. Yeah, we've uh, talked about some bugs. We triage the bugs. Yeah, that's yeah triage. What an idea. Uh, Votive has some no, has some known issues in Visual Studio 2012 that we've been told would be fixed when we switch to the newer MPF, um, which was. That was the, the impetus behind moving to the newer MPF for 2013 support, because it's something we kind of need to do. We know that there are some bugs, uh, primarily in interactions with other packages. Um, <laughs> Heath, Heath entered a bug about about incompatibility with VS achievements. <laughs> right. I, I, I find humorous for several reasons, but, um, but I know there are others as well, and there have been... Um, there have been reports uh, there were some issues with different versions of ReSharper, um, though I, I can't tell if these are actual bugs that they fixed or simply things that they worked around because Votive wasn't doing the right thing. Um, unfortunately, there, there's not uh, a lot of cross-pollination uh, between the different uh, packages. So um, as far as the core tool set goes, I don't think that we have I don't think we have serious regressions. Um, you know, we have we have a couple of of reports that we've already triaged. Um, you know, at at the moment we're getting into bugs that were opened before three seven shipped. So I'm I'm feeling decent decently optimistic that um, you know we haven't seen 
things blowing up that we that we have to really worry about. Um, and you know, I'm always open to you know to taking those bugs and working on the fixes, even if it means that our dates change. Um, but you know, I'm not. I'm less willing to look at at a bug that's you know, yes, it's a bug. We should fix it. Is it blocking? Are there no workarounds? You know, things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly right, Jacob. That's you know, I'm I'm not. <laughs> I, I hate the excuse. Oh uh, well, it's been there since you know three five or whatever. Um, but to an extent, for for v three point eight, I'm willing to say, yeah, we're not. This isn't a cleanup release. This is a let's get this out release um, to hit. Visual Studio 2013. If we, a regression would be bad, I don't want to regress. But if things are steady, and we add the support that we're looking for in a timely manner, that's a win, I think. And then the question is, how quickly can we follow up with a cleanup in 3.9 or something like that? Yeah, uh, I'm 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 open to a theme for v3.9. Um, kind of my initial reaction was we could do another uh, a quick release. Um, on the order of, you know, three to six months. Um, I think we kind of want to look at, uh, you know, what's open in 3X. We have 100, 100 or so bugs open in 3X. Uh, certainly those are things we can look at. Um, well, hopefully we'll get the process in place where we can basically go, you know, here we are, our bugs are under control, or at least triage is getting them under control. There certainly is enough in 3X. If you want a bug in 3X fixed in 3.9, bring it to 3.9 to get it triaged again or whatever. Yep. And then, uh, and by the way, here's the other, th the, the feature we're doing, which might be this MPF cleanup. Right. Uh, all right, we could talk about 3.9 in the future. Um, yes. Is there any other questions on this? And then, if not, then we'll go roll into triage, because we have plenty of bugs to triage. All right. Which moves us to questions, comments, going, going. All right, I'm calling it gone. Uh, next up will be triage. Thank you for attending the status meeting, the few of you that were able to get on in the very last minute. Uh, I thank you, and um, I'll get the mail out, or the meeting request out sooner. All right, we'll see you on the flip side of triage.